This is Charles, Big C. This is Life As It Happens. I know I haven't been able to do one of these in a while, and I uh, thought I'd take today to, you know, try to do that. And the joys, man, the joys of, of siblings. I've got a little girl who's second born, and she has to be the boss. And you will hear me fuss that on a little bit while we sit out here. I'm going to show you what it is I am doing today at the risk of making you sick. Probably not as impressive as you think. It's uh, well, I guess it's a three or four hundred dollar slide from Walmart. Wife got it on sale. We've talked about this a few times with different things I've done, so I don't want to bore you. But the wife got it on sale at Walmart for two hundred dollars. Deal of the day, free shipping. You know, half off. It's still a lot for a toy, but honestly, you know, we've had it for two whole summers, three whole summers now. I can't even remember how long we've had it. And I gotta adjust some things, there we go. So, it's interesting how well we've gotten our money out of it. Now I never, I still, I mean, I'd have to be debt free, yada, 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 to buy my toys to want to spend four or $500, $600 on a playable yard toy. And I didn't think, get out and look, get out and look. Don't lean over. And I, you know, I never thought I'd want one of these. My wife was kind of dead set and you know, I'm gonna play with the camera bunch, so just live with it. So the wife was dead set on getting one and, and I couldn't really argue. She had saved up her own money. Oakland Alexander, come here and sit down. Your time out. Come here and tell me what the rule is. The rule is not to climb up the slide. And what were you doing? Climbing up. Sit down. I don't care if you're playing with your toys, it is not to be climbed up the slide. So anyway, the wife had her own money, saved up, cash, and she found a deal and she wanted it. I mean, what, what am I going to do? I mean, it's not the household where I rule and I can, I mean, yeah, anybody, we could make, you know, a stink about it. I could have made her life miserable, but it wasn't the point. Don't know why I'm talking about this, I just saying, you're getting life as it happens, this is it. So a lot of things have been going on lately. Yes, you got a timeout. What do you think? Okay. So a lot of things have been happening lately. My wife is pregnant with her third child. She is about four, four and a half months along. And life is changing, man. The first six months of this year, and this is we're six months in, we're right at the halfway point, basically. The first six months of this year, I've been getting tons and tons and tons of overtime. Tons and tons and tons of overtime. And so when she got pregnant, we had a plan. And we could do the plan as long as basic overtime stayed. You know, and if you followed me on my show, Bear Calling Nation Live, which is BearCallingNation.com, if you followed me on my show, then you know I've gone through a lot of different changes with work, with them shutting down my office last year and giving us a three month extension contract to work from home, then doing another three months, and then finally doing another six months. Good play. You good? Hey, right. Crosby, y'all, no more throwing that toy. If I see y'all throw a toy again, all of them are gone. And don't be playing on the side. Slide down the side, will ya? So, the office, they're in the grass. They're both in the grass. That's what happens when you throw toys. So, cut down the office, six months extension, and I'm at the point now. Hold on, I gotta drink. It's hot out here. I'm at the point now, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get laid off in September. Um, and besides that, even if I, I wasn't, which, you know, it's one of those things you never know what's going to happen. Even if I wasn't going to get laid off, I still don't have the overtime. I mean, everything changes all at once, and I've been very discouraged. I did the other side live with our morning mom last night, and just had a real moment of I, I'm just so... And it's not coming across today because I'm going to tell you why, but yeah, I was so discouraged and so not depressed, but distressed, I guess is the word, distressed. I was bothered by it. And now I want to fuss at the kids again. Hey, you guys are going to slide and you're going to bring me all the toys. I'm tired of this throwing shit. Bring me all your toys. You don't listen for shit.
If you don't have kids, you probably don't want one after this. <laughs> but you know, you got. I had the feeling of being being you know in charge of my destiny. Come on now, move your ass. Now move. One, two, three. Let's go. You do not get to stand there and just look at the toys like you're stupid. I said, bring them to me. Go get your ass in the pool. Holy shit. Okay, now we're going to change gears a little bit. Kids and their passive-aggressive bullshit. Uh, you know, every kid's different. <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ. You've heard me. I've basically on the video the entire time about here so far. And don't throw your toys. Don't throw them up the side. Don't throw them down the slide. They kept throwing them up the side, so I made them stop and just go climb up the top of the slide. So I, and I see them throw the toys again. You heard me. Just bring me your toys, you're done with it. And they stand, literally stand in the pool. I don't give a shit. You're fucking around. Don't give a shit. You know how to handle yourself and you're being a dick right now. That's what happens, you get hurt. Parent of the year, I don't know. Maybe you admire that. Cause I don't play, I don't play with my kids. I mean, I play with my kids, but I don't mess around. They've been told a million times, this is how you do it. They get in trouble and sometimes they get hurt. I'm not the parent that is going to talk, oh, well, you need to understand. No, you need to understand pain. That's what you need to understand, one way or the other. And what happened just now was they were standing there, literally looking at the toys. I was like, bring me your toys. And they're, oh, uh, look at them. That's I'm going to yell. You make me yell at you. And I feel like that, st that stereotypical child abuser, why do you make me hit you? Why well, didn't hit my kids? I just yelled at them. But they, I do feel like they make me yell at them because I try. I try to say, you will do this. Come here and do it now. And then when the reason start yelling, move, 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 because literally they're gonna walk as slow as they can. I'm not putting up with that shit. I think that's good parenting because they don't rule me. I'm the parent. Guys, slide or we're going inside. I'm tired of shit. Every time I make a video, I think they're gonna be assholes. I mean, quite literally, quite literally. The other day I came out here, no computer, no nothing. Just was hanging with them, watching them. Perfect play for an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours, I don't remember. Turn on a video, anytime I turn on try to do something, they think I can't hear them. They think I can't see them, even though I'm talking to them directly. And all of a sudden it's, I can't do this, I'm gonna be a shithead that. It's frustrating. And I've got good kids. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I've got good kids. But damn, are you serious? You just pick the weed and put it in the water? Time out, fuck stick. God, what is with you? Here, you're gonna do your own show. Sit down. Sit down. You're gonna tell me right now. Why is it when I turn on a camera, you become an asshole? Go ahead. This is your interview time. Why do you think you have to be a bad boy when I turn on the camera? I don't know. No, you go get the camera and tell the people. They wanna know. Why is it if I'm not doing anything but reading the book, you can play and be a good boy? But when I'm doing a video where people are seeing this and it's being recorded, now you think you can get away with every stupid thing that passes through your head? Really? Are you sure about that? Why would you pick a weed and put it into the water that you worked hard to get clean? Talk. Use your words. You're a big boy. I don't know. I don't know. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Tell me. Because... What have we talked about, Oakland? About why you do things. What have we talked about? Um. Don't tell me you don't know. We've talked about I don't know is never good enough answer, is it? Mm -mm. It's never the right answer. You need to know why you do things, don't you? You need, and if you can't tell me a single reason why you did something, you're in big trouble. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least give me the stupid reason. I thought it'd be funny. I thought, give me something. But I don't know means you're a retard moron who just does every little impulse. And I'll have to get you on medication and lock you in the room for the rest of your life. And I don't want that. Do you want that? Because you're not a retard moron, are you? Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about retard in the sense of you make really stupid decisions because you just let every impulse control what you do. Do you do that? Mm -mm. Use your words. No. Think about what you do, yes? Mm -hmm. And make sure you do it for, even if it's a stupid reason, give me something. Okay. All right?
Next time I have to pull you out, we're going inside. You will be good whether I'm doing a video or not. Go play. Don't get it. Don't get it. But yeah, that's my idea of parenting right there. Is I don't want to yell. I mean, I would love to have that that Ward Cleaver TV bullshit. Uh, well, you know, did you know what you did was wrong? Well, yeah. Okay, well, you're not going to do it again, are you? Oh, gee, no. You know, I've just not found that to be effective. My kids are like me. Okay, I'm loud. I'm headstrong. I do things that are stupid. You know, well, oh, I didn't think that. But I'm trying to teach them differently than I was taught. I'm trying to instill in them my new values of at least have a reason, even if it's a stupid reason. Even if I went, well, I really thought that would be funny. I, I really thought it would be funny, and it turned out not. At least have something. At least go, well, I saw that there's a bunch of little things on the weed. It's a, a dandelion. You know, at least go, I thought there'd be a bunch of stuff on the weed. And Okay, stop. Crosby, stop. Jumping at somebody to grab a pine straw needle is stupid and it's going to hurt somebody. Don't do that. Now, my little girl likes to violence. You know, she thinks violence is funny, which I get because I think violence is funny. But she acts on it and that's a problem. Right now, he had a, he literally had a pine straw needle on him from side down to side. And she, instead of just grabbing it, she jumps at him and grabs it and you know, slams the hell out of him. Anyway, my idea as a parent is, you know, you're not too young to learn. And while I don't expect him to discuss all his motives and, and you know, well, okay, deep down inside I really have an issue with it. I'm not trying to get him to do that. I'm trying to get him to use his words. I try to get him to start thinking, hey, maybe he's sitting such a good idea. And it's working before we came outside. Him and his sister are playing in their room. And there's this little Fisher Price classic vanity. And his sister got up on top of it and was standing. And before I opened the door, I heard him talking to her saying, you know, you don't want to do that. It's, it's not, basically he was saying it's not safe. You're going to fall and get hurt in his own six-year-old way. That's what he was saying. So I know it's working. I know at least for somebody else, when he sees somebody else do something, his brain is firing up. Well, these are the reasons that we probably shouldn't. And yes, obviously I guess at my kids. It's me. It's who I am. I don't know what else to say. You know. And if you got, if you got, uh, if you want to say that I'm a bad parent, you want to give me suggestions on something else, bearcrawling, gmail.com. Yeah, I'll listen to anybody. And if you're, t if you're coming with the approach of telling me why I'm wrong, you know, I'll, I'll look at it and I'll come back with the approach of why you're wrong. I don't care because I don't need you to tell me I'm a good parent. I know that my kids can express love. I know that my kids can express uh, guilt. And my kids know right from wrong. I think I'm doing the best that I can. So I want to get back briefly, even though that's a good point. To, to, that's a good time to end it. Uh, guys, it's a slide. Stop it. You can do that in the house. Go up and slide. You can't do that inside. Come on, guys. Back to what I'm talking about how I've been very discouraged and disheartened and lots of different things. It's under the table. Lots of different things have been going on in my life. Uh, the end of overtime. Which still gives me a good paycheck, but it just you know, when you go from a lot of extra money a month to to do whatever you want, but you have a plan to, to take care of Thank your you. family and to do extra cool stuff. When you have that plan and it goes away, it's kind of hard. And nothing else is falling into place right now to replace that plan. And and I don't know, it's just that, and there's just other things going on that you you don't want to hear about. It turned into this big mopey long story, but I'm not as as disheartened. I want to tell you why. Because I sat down and I talked with my wife. She is my partner, uh, you know, and she very well may be my best friend. We've talked about that, and we might talk. I might talk about it later on in another life as it happens. You never know. Um, I have a best friend, but you know, I started going down when everything kind of happened. Okay, that's enough. Good play, guys. Say some for later. When everything started happening uh, yesterday, you know, I started going mentally down the list of people I can talk to, and I couldn't talk to her because she was already having a bad day. I couldn't talk to my quote unquote, you know, I say quote unquote because, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe in reality, if you have some best friend test, maybe my wife would score higher than my best friend. I don't know. But she's my wife. She is the number one most important person to me. I can have a best friend that's not her. Guys, go slide now or we're done. I'm tired of this. We've been out, we're not even being out here 15 minutes. I keep having to get on to you. I'm not playing this today.